Good morning to ya! Oh, ouch! Ouch! Let's get rid of that! Ow! DJ Wonder Chrissy here for Migrant Mayhem. Land Cruiser Midwest, like, share, and subscribe as we're heading towards the end of the month and to St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is a big deal in Chicago, folks, just so you know. Big deal. It's going to be a party weekend. I was just just checking out with my friends at a local pub that does it up right. Actually, it's owned by an Italian, but they do up a, a awesome uh st patty's day they're gonna be they're gonna be celebrating saturday and sunday come <coughs> come uh, march 17th okay so today we got um more bad news and um i alluded to this oh couple of weeks uh, no, probably beginning of last week that um Money is running out. Money is running out. Uh, I guess um, FEMA money, which is being used by Arizona, California, and uh, obviously Chicago and um, Boston and New York. Um, it amounts for some of these towns. It amounts to ten percent of their their resources or capital or budget that they're using to address the migrants. But um, the NGOs out in San Diego, we got a report here from Fox, Bill Malusian, who's been on the border for years now, literally this, this guy's been reporting from the border for years, talks about how in San, San Diego there's a, there's a shelter that is literally closing down now because... The NGO that was running it just ran out of money. They were given $3 million by the government. They went through that and more and now are faced with closing it down. So they're basically mass releasing these people onto the streets um, of San Diego. And I don't know if they're going to be able to get these people on the planes, buses, um, but I also, I watched a video yesterday by JLR Investigates. Check out that guy's channel. A lot of good information there. So um, he had a lunch video where he was at Jack in the Box. He had an awesome looking hamburger at Jack in the Box. But he said, based on his interviews and travels, there's three places where these migrants are going. New York City. Boston and Chicago. Those are the three top places the migrants want to go. Um, also in this video, you'll hear talk of Atlanta and Minneapolis. So they're going everywhere. So expect a surge as um, money's running out. And then on the other side of this, we're going to talk about what's going to happen in your town if you already have masses of migrants as other money's run out. Um, in your locality and what that means and it's not a good situation so let's uh, let's kick off this video and um, thanks for joining today it's Sunday February 25th and it's uh, seven o'clock in Chicago the Sun is coming up it's 33 degrees and we may hit 50 today we had snow yesterday but um, hopefully that all the 50 degrees will melt the snow and we'll Heading back in some nice temperatures the next couple of next five or six days. So here you go. Let's uh, look at this Fox News report. So right, we're watching this video in from Bill Malusian on some migrants that are being dropped off. He has an update for us from San Diego. Bill, what are you seeing? Hey, Danny, good morning to you. We are in San Isidro, a part of San Diego right now, where hundreds of illegal immigrants have just been mass street released from Border Patrol custody. This bus you see right here is uh, apparently an NGO or volunteer organization bus. They've all just gotten off a Border Patrol bus, two of them actually. They're now waiting to board this bus. I've talked to several of them from Peru from India, from Colombia. The group from Peru told me they are here to work. They are going to Atlanta and Minneapolis. Let's see if we can talk to some of them real quick. Hola, Espanol. ¿De dónde son? Ecuador. ¿A dónde va? 
pasa en los Estados Unidos? Nueva York. New York, going to New York. ¿De dónde son? ¿De dónde son? Costa Rica, ¿a dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Atlanta. Atlanta. The usual, none of these guys, very rare, very few of them speak English. New Jersey. ¿Dónde? New Jersey. New Jersey. ¿A dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Chicago. Chicago. ¿Y uh, de dónde son? Colombia. Colombia. ¿Quieren trabajar? No. No? ¿Asilo? Sí, yes. Yeah. They say they want asylum, they don't want to work. ¿De dónde son? Oh, where are you from? Uh, Senegal. Senegal, Africa. Senegal, from Senegal. We saw a lot of Senegalese in uh, Lukeville, Arizona. Where, where in the U.S. do you want to go to? What city? Uh, France. 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 Uh, France, France, speak French. Oh, he says he speaks French. I obviously do not speak French. Um, oh, watch out, Lexi. Uh, hi, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. A donde vas los Estados Unidos? Uh, New York. New York. Okay. So, you get a little flavor right there, guys. They're from all around. They're some going to New York, some going to New Jersey. Uh, we talked to those Peruvian guys. They're going to Atlanta, to Minneapolis. So uh, they've been released from Border Patrol custody. They are now free to travel the country. It appears uh, an NGO group or some sort of volunteer group is now putting them on their own bus, and uh, they're going to be going elsewhere. We'll try to talk to that NGO after this live shot if we can. But the reason this is happening, obviously we've had a big surge of illegal crossings here in San Diego sector, which we've been showing all week. The other reason, uh, San Diego County recently spent millions of taxpayer dollars to uh, create a migrant shelter where some of these migrants could stay. That shelter just ran out of money this week. So there's nowhere to put these migrants from Border Patrol custody. You see the results now. These are mass street releases just dropped onto the streets of San Diego. Uh, and now they are getting help from this NGO where they're going to help facilitate their travel. How would you feel if you lived in San Diego? to uh, see hordes of people on your streets who can't speak the language, probably ill-equipped for financially supporting themselves, and who knows what they would do. We're going to talk about that. And go all across the country, and guys, you just heard it here. They're going all over the place. So, so you just answered a couple of my questions. I wanted to know what a street release was. I noticed that everybody seems to have an iPhone and that it's fully charged and they're using it. What I am wondering is, with all of this happening in the last two weeks that we've been showing between you and Griff Jenkins, has Governor Gavin Newsom said a word? Not that I'm aware of. I know he's in Washington, D.C. today, but uh, eventually, look, these images are probably going to cause him a little bit of a political issue, right? Look what's happening in Texas. They are fortifying their border with razor wire, with National Guard, with troopers. They're kicking the feds out. No. There have been reports that Texas has pretty much stopped their, uh, their uh, migration to a trickle, probably 5% of what it was when uh, uh, Eagle Pass was wide open and they were getting thousands of people a day. They've, they've uh, brought it down to a trickle. So everyone seems to be going through Arizona and uh, San Diego right now. And their illegal cross crossings have fallen off a cliff here. What has happened as a result? A lot of the illegal crossings are now in, a big majority of them are now in California and Arizona. Blue states run by blue governors who really aren't doing any sort of resistance at the state level in terms of trying to stop these illegal crossings. But look, uh, here down in San Diego, uh, the El Cajon mayor is coming down here as well. We've been texting. He's been getting mass releases in his city as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone's frustrated that the federal government essentially just says, you deal with it. They dump them in a city and say, good luck, essentially. Incredible. Thank you for the reporting, Bill. Thank you, Bill. I'm Steve Juice. So there you have it. There you have it. Uh, a report from our uh, great reporter and media savvy person, Bill Malusian. Um, so I'm I'm expecting uh, more of these people to hit the streets of Chicago. That's just a matter of time. Um, so we're going to be here in Brandon.